Now let us start the next chapter ratio applications. In your previous classes you have learnt about the ratio and proportion. Now in this class we will learn about the ratio and proportion and also ratio expressed in terms of the percentages and some applications. Now first let us see what is the ratio. Now for example the weight of Madhuri equals to 50 kilograms and the weight of her son equals to 10 kilograms. So if you compare the weights of Madhuri and her Madhuri and her son the weight of Madhuri is 5 times that of her son. So we can write that weight of Madhuri equals to 5 into the weight of her son or weight of her son is one fifth the weight of Madhuri or we, if you compare the two weights by the ratio then we can take that 50 kilograms is to 10 kilograms so then 0 0 get cancelled kg kg get cancelled this equals to 5 is to 1 and if you take the second example the number of boys equals to 60 and the number of girls in your class equals to 40 now we can take that number of boys equals to 3 by 2 the number of girls or the number of girls equals to 2 by 3 the number of boys if you take the ratio of these two quantities 60 is to 40 ratio of boys and girls 60 is to 40 then 0 0 cancel 2 3 is 6 2 2 is 4 3 is to 2 so this is the ratio of boys to girls if you take the ratio of girls to boys then we get 2 is to 3 now let us take another example so length of a wire equals to 5 meters and the length of another wire equals to 500 centimeters here we cannot say that the length of the second wire is 100 times the length of the first wire because they are not mentioned in the the lengths of the two wires are not mentioned in the same units so if you take the first two first example the both weights are expressed in the same units kilograms but here both lengths are not expressed in the same units so the length of the first wire is in 5 meters and the length of the second wire is in centimeters so first to compare any two quantities first you should check whether they are in the same units or not so if they are in the same units then the if you compare the two quantities by the division so then it is called the ratio so now ratio definition we can write a ratio is an ordered comparison of two quantities of the same units a ratio is an ordered comparison of two quantities of the same units so then the ratio a is to b is read as 
a is to b and here a and b are called the terms of the ratio a and b are called terms of the ratio and here a is called the first term in the ratio a is to b here a is called the first term or antecedent and the second term here b is called the second term or consequent so in the given ratio a is to b a and b are called the terms of the ratio and the, here a is called the first term or antecedent and b is called the second term or the consequent now let us solve few problems based on the ratio concept what is the ratio of 100 rupees and 10 rupees express your answer in simplest form so the ratio of Hundred rupees and ten rupees equals to hundred rupees is to ten rupees here rupees rupees cancel and zero zero also cancel then we get ten is to one. So this is the simplest form of the given ratio. Now the second question divide ninety six chocolates between Raju and Ravi in the ratio five is to seven. So the number of chocolates equals to 96 now the given ratio equals to 5 to 7 now sum of terms of ratio equal to 5 plus 7 equals to 12 now the share of Raju equals to 5 by the sum of terms of the ratio is 12 into the total number of chocolates 96 so 12 ones are 12 8s are 96 5 8s are 40 chocolates Now the share of Ravi equals to 7 by 12 into 96 12 ones are 12, 12 8s are 96 so this equals to 7 8s are 56 chocolates And if you add these two shares, then 40 plus 56, then we get the total number of chocolates, 96.